Hi, I'm Ron Pars from Parpools.com, and today I want to talk to you about a significant uh, issue that that really touches every single swimming pool out there. And what we're going to talk about is biofilms. And we're going to talk about biofilms because we are looking for answers to pool problems. Pool problems such as chlorine demand, general excess sanitizer consumption, cloudy water, algae growth, the buildup of scale and staining. Uh, some general water balance problems. All of those are symptoms, and they're symptoms of a larger issue, and that's what we want to tackle today. And the root cause for a lot of those symptoms is something called biofilms. Let me give you two analogies of what biofilms are and can be. The first is something that you live with on a daily basis, and that's your teeth. You wake up in the morning, you get yourself ready to go to work or school, and you brush your teeth, and your teeth feel great. They feel clean, they feel, they feel, they feel nice. A couple of hours later, though, without having any food or anything to drink, you can take a fingernail, and you can just slide it along, uh, along the top of, of, of your teeth, and you'll find that there's a film growing. That's a biofilm. If you let that go, it becomes tougher and tougher, and eventually it becomes tartar and plaque, and that's what you don't want. A second analogy is a coral reef. A coral reef is a, is a glorified biofilm, and you start out with small, uh, small organic material and animals, and they grow and grow and grow. They eventually become hard and crusty, and those crusty and hard layers protect what's growing underneath. So when you see a coral reef, it's not something that is dead, it is something that is very alive. One thing that, another thing that we know about biofilms is that they are chemical resistant. So you can't just automatically treat or kill a biofilm because it's going to grow wherever it chooses to grow. Biofilms need two things in which to grow. They need a surface and they need moisture. And obviously, a swimming pool has both of those. In studies done by the Montana State University Center for Biofilm Engineering, what they found was that about up to 99% of all bacteria in your swimming pool is found within the biofilm. That means only about 1% is actually floating around in the water. The other 99% is protected within the biofilm. So that's why we want to get to this biofilm issue. When we talk about biofilms and swimming pools, we have to understand that most of biofilms are not easily reachable or cleanable or removable. Yes, we can get to the surface of the, of the swimming pool, the sides and the bottom, but what about in the plumbing lines or behind the light niche or um, uh, inside the, uh, the return eyeballs and so on? Those are areas where, where biofilms will grow and where they will proliferate. Biofilms have a, have a very low pH, and we'll talk about what that allows them to do. But, they, but biofilms typically have a pH of under 1.0. Biofilms also serve as a base, and they serve as a base for problems such as white water mold and pink slime, and even black algae because all of those things need something in which to get to, to, to sink into and, and to attach to. You have biofilms throughout the swimming pool. Like we said, they can be on the sides, on the bottom, uh, under ladder treads, behind light niches, within light niches. All of those areas are going to serve as breeding grounds for biofilm. When we talk about in-ground pools and we talk about piping, we have We've got a lot of piping underground. The average in-ground pool has about 100 feet of pipe. You can't get at any of that. And that's where the biofilm grows. Let's look at biofilms and how they grow and how they mature. There are five stages to biofilm growth. The first stage is called attachment. And attachment is just that. The, the organic film attaches. And most, most biofilms, they have an affinity or a likeness for PVC and plastics. They find it very easy to grow there. 
so they will naturally attach. The second stage is called colonization. And colonization is when that attached biofilm begins to grow. And it grows and grows and grows until it becomes a colony. Within the colonization process, it also begins to protect itself, which is the third stage. As it protects itself, the biofilm exudes something that is called a poly, an exopolysaccharide film. And that's the film that you can touch, that you can begin to see, and that protects itself. And given time, it, it, it does a very good job absorbing chemicals, absorbing even shock treatments and other cleaners, so that it makes it difficult to remove. The fourth stage is growth. Here, it, you have protection of the biofilm. Everything is just growing exponentially. There are two things that happen here. One, aside from its, from its growing, it also begins to break up, just due to its size. That sounds pretty good. But the problem is that that leads into the fifth stage, which is distribution. So now you have these extra pieces and bits of the biofilm that are broken off, and just through the flow of water, they are being redistributed throughout the pool system. Those are the five stages of a biofilm, what it, what it is, how it grows. Uh, keep in mind that biofilms are unbelievably resistant to Chlorine, bromine, it will absorb those chemicals into it. When it comes to baguanides such as soft swim or, or Baquacil, those products or those, um, those chemicals can actually adhere to the biofilm and add an extra layer of protection. When we talk about ozonators and, and ionizers, those two products are relatively ineffective. They are not going to do anything to to either kill or remove the biofilm. In our next video, we're going to talk about how to remove and treat biofilms. It's pretty simple. It can take a little bit of work, but what you will get at, at in, in the long run and the short run is a cleaner pool. You will use less chemicals, and you'll have a better overall uh, fun time in your swimming pool with less painting and less work. So stay tuned for, for, the, for the next video. If you have any questions, you can email us at techhelp at carpools.com. You can also uh, visit our website for more information on biofilms uh, by going to parpools.com forward slash biofilms. Thanks and enjoy the pool.